Hey there, my name is Brittany Bryden. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today's practice is just gonna be a full body flow that has a mix of both flexibility work as well as mobility and strength. So just a really well-rounded class that you can do at any point in the day. And uh, you don't need any props, but it's always a great idea to have two yoga blocks nearby to make some postures a little bit more accessible if you need them. We're gonna start off on our backs. And as you come down onto your backs, just hug both knees in towards your chest. Set the hands below the knees and just start to rock side to side. And turning this into happy baby now, send the soles of the feet to the ceiling. Hands are gonna grab hold of the outer edges of the feet. Your knees are wide and you're gonna continue with the rocking. You can play around with the shape by maybe straightening one leg at a time, maybe both. Bring both feet down on the mat about hip distance apart, hands on the floor framing the hips. Instead of the heels bring, being pretty close to the glutes, you're gonna walk your feet forwards about an inch or two. And then when you land those feet, press the feet in the floor, take a big breath in. So think of a full 360 degree breath, rib cage, the back, belly. And then using the exhale, you're gonna lift the hips up towards the ceiling, use the glutes and the hamstrings and make sure that those frontal ribs are in. Lower the hips down to a hover, and then lift them back up. And then lower down, and then lift. Three more, and then lift for two, and then one more time. And then nice and slow, you're gonna roll down the spine as you lower onto your back. Take your feet off the mat, bring your shins parallel towards the ceiling, knees tracking right over top of the hips. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling and the palm of the hands face one another. Anchor your pelvis in towards the ground. When you take an inhale, you're gonna hinge from the hip, lower your left heel to a hover. Reach your right arm back and hover your right thumb. And then using your exhale, you're gonna bring your arm and your leg back to where you started. Inhale, lower the right heel down, reach your left arm back. And then exhale, pull it back in. Left heel, right arm back. And then draw it in. Switching sides. So now you're gonna continue just on your own. Try not to rush it. I want you to take your time. Connecting the movement with your breath. We'll do a few more rounds on each side. And then when you finish that second side, you're gonna set your feet down on the mat, hip distance part again, take your arms up to the side into a T-shape. Shoulder blades anchor into the floor and then let your knees just rock side to side. Bring both knees in towards your chest, lift your chest towards your thighs, and then rock up and down. So start off small, then get a little bit bigger each time. Next time you come up, plant your feet on the mat, hip distance apart, set your hands below the knees, and we'll move through a few cat cows here. Lift the chest through the gate of the shoulders, lift the sternum up, and now round, so feel like you're pulling yourself away from your thighs. And we'll do that again, lift the chest forwards, you can lift the gaze up, and then round, feel those shoulder blades spread apart. One more time. And then round. Now sitting up tall. Feet are gonna stay where they are. You're gonna take the right hand on the floor behind you. Fingers are gonna face the back of the mat. Reverse table, lift the glutes up. Reach that left arm towards the back of the mat. And then lower back down to the floor. And we're gonna switch hands. So left hand on the ground behind you, fingers face back. Lift the hips up, reach your right arm up and over. Lower back down to the floor. Right hand on the ground, reach your left arm back. Hips lift. And then lower. You're gonna continue going on your own and I want you to start to explore the movement. So maybe you add bigger circles to the arms. You might start to add a bit more of a back bend. And 
energizing the body. Waking it up, notice where it maybe feels a little sticky or stuck today. Last side. And then lower down. And however is easiest for you, you're gonna swing your legs around, make your way onto your hands and knees and table. As you come to table, turn your fingers to face the sides of the mat and bring the back of the wrist to touch. Press all of the fingers into the floor and just shift your weight side to side, some circles, forwards and backwards. Separating your wrist now, turn your fingers all the way around so fingers face your knees, thumbs face out. If this is really intense, then walk your knees closer to the hands. If you can handle a little bit more, then walk your knees further back. And you're shift your weight forwards and backwards and in those circles again. Come off the hands, give your hands a good shake and turn your fingers to face the front of the mat. Your right arm is gonna reach forwards. Circle your right arm up towards the ceiling. Send your bum back towards the heels like you're doing a child's pose and you're gonna circle that right arm down. And as you come back in a table, reach your right arm forward. So you're doing these big circles with the right arm. Reach your right arm up, rotate the chest to the right, send the bum back to the heels, circle the arm down. Come forwards in a table, reach the arm forwards. One more time, circle the arm, come down, reach your arms forwards. Now, rotate the chest to the right, reach that right arm up to the ceiling, thread it under, take the right arm underneath you. You're gonna hover the arm as you reach to the left. Again, take that right arm back up towards the ceiling. Take it underneath you, hover the arm, reach to the left. One more time, right arm reaches up. Take it underneath you, this time ground the arm. Come onto your left fingertips. Press the fingertips into the floor as you pull that left shoulder back. Keep even weight to your knees, but feel like you're trying to bring the sternum to the ceiling. Right arm reaches up to the ceiling. Set the hand down to the floor. Left arm's reaching forwards. Circle the arm up to the ceiling. Circle it down and back as you send the bum back. And then come back on the table, reach your arm forwards. Again, circle the arm up, reach it back. Circle it down and forwards. One more round, reach it back, bum back towards the heels. Come into that table, left arm to the ceiling, rotate your chest to the left. Thread the needle, take that left arm underneath you. You're hovering and reach to the right. Left arm up and take it underneath you. This is one of my favorites. Reach that left arm up. Doesn't it feel good? And then take it under, ground the arm. Come onto your right fingertips. Press the fingertips on the floor and pull the right shoulder back. Just be very mindful that you're not just shifting all the weight over to the left side. Left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Set your left hand down onto the ground. Come into your neutral spine. And then from here, as you send the crown of the head forwards, engage to your core, tuck your toes under and lift your knees just an inch above the floor, no higher, just an inch above the floor. Now from here, make sure you're not sinking through the low back, you're not sinking through the chest. Again, that core is on, stabilizing the spine. Two more breaths here. And then lift the hips up and back for your first down, down dog. So ground the hands. Bend one knee, straighten the other, walk the legs out. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend your knees and nice and slow, you're gonna roll yourself up to stand. Take your feet about mat distance apart, turn your feet out slightly. Bend the knees, lower the hips down. So as you start to lower the hips, make sure you press the knees open. They're not falling in towards center. Hands are wherever you'd like. And then as you lower down, keep pressing these open and then come back up to stand. We'll do that again. Bend the knees, Malasana squat, lower down, and then press back up. Lower down. And come back up. 
Last time, lower down. Set your hands to the floor, hips up. Bring your feet parallel as you fold under the legs. Ragdoll, let the head drop. Close the eyes. You can reach for either elbow here and just add a gentle sway. Release the hands down to the ground. Walk your hands forwards and come back into that down dog. Bring your big toes to touch. Lift the heels up nice and high so that you can send your hips further back and take your right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend that top knee, rotate your hips towards the right. Look forwards, bring your shoulders over top of the wrist. Right knee is gonna come as high up on the right arm as you can. Make sure that left hip's not dropping to the floor. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Wiggle your left toes back. Keep power in that left leg and you're just gonna shift forwards and backwards into the hip. Ground the hands, shoulders tracking over top of the wrist. Now you're going to come out of it the same way you came into it. So bring that right knee high up on the arm. Leave the knee on the arm, but bring your right heel in towards your glute. Hold here, maybe bring the shoulders forwards a little bit more. Three-legged dog, take the right leg up towards the ceiling. Come forwards, bring your knee to your nose as the shoulders come over top of the wrist or fingers. Get the knee as tight to the chest as you can. Step your right foot down beside your right thumb. Bend your left knee. Lower the left knee to the floor and bring your arms forwards and up. Low lunge, rib cage tracking over top of the pelvis. Put power in your left leg now and come in a runner's lunge. So you're gonna lean the chest forward, sweep your arms back and pick up that back knee. Bend the left knee, hover above the floor, arms come forwards and up. Runner's lunge, straighten the back leg, lean the chest forwards and arms reach back. One more time, hover the left knee, arms up and then runner's lunge. Hands come down to the floor towards the front of your mat. So you're on the fingertips. From here, you're gonna fly up into a warrior three. So you're gonna lift the left leg off the floor, left toes face the ground and sweep your arms back without pushing your ribs forwards. Bend your standing leg and just lightly tap the hands and foot to the ground. So we'll do that again, fly up warrior three. Lower down, tap the hands and foot. Warrior three, come all the way up. And then step back, high lunge. Your feet are on separate tracks. Both arms reach up towards the ceiling. Open up to the left for warrior two. So drop the back heel down to the center of the mat. You might have to wiggle it back a bit. Take the arms up to the side. Front knee, be mindful that it's not falling in towards center. And then keeping the legs nice and strong, reverse your warrior. Your right arm's gonna reach back, left hand just rests gently on the left leg. And then come into warrior two. Windmill your hands down to the floor, framing your right foot, turn onto the ball of your left foot. Step back, downward dog. Shoulders come over top of the wrist. Your knees can be up or down. Bend the elbows and lower yourself with control for five until you come all the way to the floor. Four. Three, two, one. When you land, press the tops of the feet on the floor. Elbows hugging the center, baby cobra. Bring the chest forwards and up, so make sure you're not just forcing it with the hands. Make sure you're not just pushing the chin forward. And then lower down. Tuck your toes under. Press yourself back up to table or plank. Come in a downward dog. Big toes come to touch. Heels lift up nice and high, send your hips further back. Left leg up towards the ceiling, bend that top knee and rotate your hips to the left. Shoulders come over top of the wrist as you bring the left knee high up on the left arm. Make sure that right shoulder is not slipping in front of the left. Step down to the outside of the left hand. Wiggle the right toes back, keep power in the right leg and shift your weight forwards and backwards. Now keep that left knee high up on the arm so the knee stays there. As you bring that left heel in towards the glute, bring the shoulders forwards about an inch. Left leg up, three-legged dog. Come forwards now, knee to nose. So really protract through the shoulder blade so that you have some space to step down in between the hands. Back knee comes to the floor. Keep the right toes tucked under. Bring your arms forwards and up. Rib cage over top of the pelvis. All right, now pick up that back knee, lean the chest forwards, sweep the arms back for runner's lunge. 
Right knee hovers above the floor, arms come forwards and up. Runners lunge, lean the chest forward, sweep the arms back. One more round, bend the back knee, arms reach up. And then runners lunge. Reach your hands towards the front of the mat. So you're just coming onto the fingertips. Push off your back foot. Now fly up for warrior three. So arm sweep back, right toes face the ground. Bend the standing leg, lightly tap the hands and the foot to the floor. Flow it up, warrior three. Lower back down to tap. One more time, flow it up, warrior three. And then step it back, high lunge. Both arms reach up towards the ceiling, bending that back knee as much as you need. Drop the back heel to the floor, open the arms out to the side. Warrior two, bending in the left leg. Right hand just rests gently on the right leg, reverse it, reach that left arm back. Come into warrior two. Windmill your hands down to the floor, turn on the ball of your back foot, step back, downward dog. Shoulders come over top of the wrist, knees up or down, but take your time. Lower for five, four, three, two, and then come down. Tops of you pressing the mat, elbows in, baby cobra, chest forwards and up, and then lower. Toes tuck under this time. Keep your knees on the ground. Press yourself up in a table. And then swing your legs around and come down onto your bums. And now all the way down onto your backs. Bring your knees in your chest like we did at the beginning of class and just rock side to side. Place your left foot down on the mat and send your right leg up towards the ceiling. You're gonna flex your foot as if you're pushing your foot into the ceiling. Hands on the ground, framing the hips. Drive that left foot into the floor, take your inhale. Then ease your exhale and lift the hips up. Inhale the lower. And then exhale lift. Again lower. And then lift. Two more, lower down. And then pick it up. One more, and then lift it up. Lower down, place your right foot on top of the left thigh. Interlace the hands behind the left hamstring or shin for your figure four stretch. Close down the eyes, relax around the shoulders. Unclench your jaw. And switching sides. Right foot on the ground. Send your left leg up towards the ceiling. Take that breath in. Use the exhale, pick it up. Lower down. And then pick it back up. Left two. And then left up. Three more. Lift it up. For two. And then lift up. One more, lower down. And then lift it up. Well done, come down onto your backs. Left foot on top of the right thigh, interlace your hands behind the right hamstring or just below the knee. Bring both feet down on the mat, hip distance apart. Just take your arms out to the side in that T-shape and let your knees rock side to side. Hug both knees into the chest one more time. Wrap your arms around the shins. Lift your chest towards your thighs. Give yourself a big squeeze. Let it go. Take your legs long out on the floor. You either rest the back of the hands on the ground or you can set one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. And before you rush off or skip this part, challenge yourself to stay. To be present. Fully aware of how you are showing up right now. Mm 
encourage you to stay in this quiet space for as long as you can. I want to thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you again real soon. Always be humble and be kind. Thank you. Namaste.